Thanks for joining us. And, and let's just start there. In, in an individual game, <laughs> in an individual game, and Steve Kerr said this after the game that he told his team, just keep pressing them, stay aggressive, keep after them, and, and they can wear down as Kyrie and LeBron because of all the time they're on the court. So from an individual game standpoint, talk about that. If you play 45, 46 minutes against an aggressive team, can you see that fatigue factor at the end? I mean, they were playing well. Like, I, I'm watching the game, and I'm like, it just never felt like Golden State could get over the hump, especially, you know, in the fourth quarter. Cleveland was playing the best game as far as how they played in the series. And I can understand why you say pressing them or pressing them, but this season's on the line. You know, they, they, they're going to play a lot of minutes. Both the Kyrie and the Brown were playing great, and it just – you know, it just collapsed the last two minutes. I mean, just two more minutes. Think about that. You play so long, 48-minute game, and two minutes you collapse. I mean, if you, you're a season on the line. It, it's not even about, like, who's tired or how many minutes and who wore down because the urgency is there when you're season on the line. It just wasn't there for the Cleveland Cavaliers down the stretch. They just they couldn't put the ball in the hole. Okay, so if it wasn't fatigue, what was it then? They couldn't make shots. I mean, you know, I didn't see nobody dragging down court. I didn't see nobody not trying. It wasn't, you know, it was just, they just couldn't make shots. They couldn't execute. Golden State is one of the best defensive teams, and down the stretch, they know how to win. They give them credit. You know, don't say that Cleveland will not give Golden State credit. They're watching an all time team and give that credit. Well, I, I think I think both of those things can be true. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the reasons they are fatigued is because the Golden State Warriors can wear them out, not only with how aggressively they play on defense, but because they have more options to throw at them because they are that deep of a team. I think one dovetails to the other. Well, I mean, listen, we're, we're over here in the past week. We're talking about, you know, LeBron and, and comparing them to Michael Jordan, you know, been one of the greatest players of this generation, and that may be true, but we don't, we can't compare that to Michael Jordan because the one we saw last night that you have to be able to close out the game. I mean, you telling me that MJ didn't play forty eight minutes or forty five minutes and, and, and still has something left down the stretch? I mean, of course, you know, Golden State has, you know, their their weapons and all of that, and, and that's why I say, you know, give them credit. You know, this is this is a great, great team we're watching, and you know uh, we gotta respect that and, and accept it. I mean, we've never seen a run like this in the playoffs. The fifteen about one win away from perfection. This is this is something special we're watching. So we have to credit that. I mean, it's just you know it's it's, it's hard to accept, but it is what it is. And the best player, if you have the best player. In the game right now, on the best team, it's going to be difficult to win. And you got Kevin Durant. Paul Pierce joining us, uh, Mike and Mike. And, and Kevin Durant and what he's done, Paul. So let, let's get into him uh, a little bit. And he's all, he's been a great player for years. To you, has his game elevated, or is it just he's the same Kevin Durant with now a, an incredible cast around him as well? Well, I mean, his game, he has an incredible cast. Let's not, you know, let's not, you know, doubt that. But his game is definitely elevated. We haven't seen Kevin Durant play defense like this. I mean, we all know he's one of the great scorers this league has ever seen. But you can you see how he's defending. He's guarding LeBron. He's guarding Kevin Love. He's guarding, you know, every position. Uh, and you can see him had an isolation over there. Uh, with J.R. Smith trying to cross him over. He took the ball from him. He's blocking shots. He's rebounding. He's playing at a high level uh, all around. And, you know, that's why I've been saying, you know, we may be looking at a change in other guard, you know, and it's uh, entering the Kevin Durant era because he's not only going to play at a high level, but they're going to win. They're going to win this championship. And it's possible they may win, like, next year and the year after. Well, one thing I think, Paul, you have to look at is the idea of them going 16-0 and um, in the postseason. It, it's a remarkable thing. And did you ever – have you before this series began or before this playoff run began, Paul, for the Golden State Warriors, did you ever think going 16-0 and in an NBA postseason would even be possible? 
No, I never, I never thought you could just run the table like that. I just thought, you know, when you get to the playoffs, you're playing the cream of the crop, you know, and, you know, you just figure you have a hiccup somewhere along this road or something happens, doesn't go your way. You know, this team, if you look at it, over the past year, they've won 30 of the last 31 games down the stretch. And, it, and I never thought that 16-0 and was possible. I mean, it's just very remarkable that we'll be watching I mean, we're just witnessing greatness right here. And I expect them to close it out on Friday. And then now all the talks are going to be, is this the greatest team ever put together? You know, you know, um, and they're going to have an argument based on that because nobody saw that coming. I mean, you, you, you knew they would win a lot of games before the season. You even thought they may break 73 wins, which they didn't. And maybe they could have if KD was healthy for those 19 games he sat out. But for those 16 and 0, nobody thought, you know, that was even possible. Uh, it's it's certainly unbelievable, really the idea that they could do this uh, when you're beating the best teams and you're taking them, uh, you, again, you're playing them again and again and again in a yep. series that you could go through a complete postseason undefeated. It's been an amazing run. We'll see if they can close it out in they game haven't four. Done it no, I mean, it looks like they can now, you, you yep. got, they got one more, and as I said earlier, ask Teddy yeah. Bruschi, you want to finish that last one. Yes, you do. Paul, we Thanks, appreciate Paul. the time. I, I have to believe, just one more thing. I have to believe that LeBron, as great as he is, can get one game. You can, I don't see LeBron James at this stage. Did you ever, could you ever imagine LeBron James no. at this stage in his career not winning one game in the playoffs no. in, in a series? It's, it, it would be beyond me. I mean, he's averaging yep. a triple-double in the series. Yeah, so yeah it, it would be it, incredible. Right, yeah, we'll see incredible. what happens. Paul, we Thanks, appreciate Paul. the time. Appreciate Thanks very it. much.